my goodness. Happy Turkey Day, everybody. Although it doesn't look much like Turkey Day here, it looks a lot more like Christmas, or at least it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. This is Sometimes Vlog! She didn't look impressed by that. It's Sometimes Vlog! It's a vlog that happens sometimes, and it's back. I know you've been waiting so long for a Sometimes Vlog, and we are here at Disneyland, walking around on this fine afternoon. Look at all these people staring at me as I walk past those, waiting patiently for the Christmas parade here at Disneyland on beautiful, beautiful Thanksgiving day. With plenty to be thankful for. Really, seriously, it is weird to walk by with a camera in your face while dozens, and potentially multiple dozens, a dozen dozen humans stare at you from the sidelines, but that's okay. Stare away, feast your eyes upon the glory that is some weird guy walking around with a the camera. They don't know that you're in there, right in here. You'll have to forgive the crudity of this vlog because I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. I know you missed that reference. I know you missed that Back to the Future reference and I miss Baymax balloons. That's why I had to stop in here before continuing on to Thanksgiving dinner and take a look at what Disneyland looks like on Thanksgiving Day. Now I come here on a fairly regular basis, as you know. I'm actually really surprised how not crowded it is. Look at this. Weird. Look at that wonderfulness. Okay. Thanksgiving Day. Thanksgiving Day. What can I say? I have so much to be thankful for. But I can't even think until we take a look at that castle, so let's cruise over there. I will share a couple of Thanksgiving memories. What is your tradition? Are you going to have Thanksgiving dinner? Maybe you've already had Thanksgiving dinner. A lot of people have Thanksgiving dinner at like noon. To me, that's more of a Thanksgiving lunch or a Thanksgiving brunch, not a Thanksgiving dinner. I like to have my dinner after the flag lowering ceremony at Disneyland. I really don't have a lot of Thanksgiving traditions because I spent years and years on tour with a band. So I've had Thanksgiving in San Antonio. I've had Thanksgiving all over the place. Kind of a weird mishmash of Thanksgiving. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, so anyway. So I've had Thanksgiving in Texas. I've had Thanksgiving all over for years, actually. My ex-wife's family would go out of town. My family would go out of town. So what I would do is hang out alone in my underwear, play Halo, and at the end of the evening, walk myself to a nearby donut shop. So for like three or four years, that was my Thanksgiving tradition. This Thanksgiving, going to my grandmother's house, Tyler Evans, rock journalist, will be there, and the fam. So we're gonna have a little bit of a Thanksgiving family dinner. It's weird because when I was a kid, Thanksgiving seemed a lot more important of a day. And what I mean by that is, you know, the whole family would get a bunch of food and they'd get in the car and you'd drive to like your great aunt's house or something and there'd be a bunch of people there and cousins that you don't really remember and all kinds of activities going on. Oh, hold on. But then when you get older and you can kind of just do whatever you want on Thanksgiving. Pretty weird. I will say this though, Thanksgiving, here's a weird memory for you. This is maybe not very positive, but Thanksgiving is the first time I ever faced my own mortality was on a Thanksgiving day. We went to my great aunt Ruth Ann's house and she had cooked a heck of a turkey. And I thought I wanted some dry turkey with no gravy, right? Okay. Look at that. Lovely. Thanksgiving turkey with no gravy. So I'm eating it. I stepped out of her front door and she had a little step there. Not like a full step, but like a half a step. I forgot it was there. So as I'm taking a bite of turkey, I can walk outside by myself, no problem. I started choking on the turkey. I was maybe eight or nine years old. I started choking on the piece of dry turkey. I could not get it out. I could not breathe, no air in or out. No, I could not make a sound. I turned around, I fumbled at the door, trying to get someone's attention. I'm gonna die, I'm choking. Could not get anyone's attention. Eventually it came out. But the point is, Thanksgiving Day was the first day I realized as a child, I'm going to die someday. So there's a weird Thanksgiving memory for you. So I am thankful that I did not die by choking on a piece of turkey. Ready? 
Look at those people making happy memories. And I am thankful that I am here at Disneyland today. And most of all, I want to say I am very thankful for all of you. Not just the sometimes vlog watchers, but everyone who has supported what we're doing over at LiveFastDieFour.com and all the crazy adventures that we've been having. Random land, the sometimes vlog, Tyler and Jeff, crazy articles over there. And also, everyone who's purchased fine products from LiveFastDieFour.com spreadshirt.com such as these fine random land t-shirts it's been a pleasure and a privilege and an honor to meet many of you this year and have all your support for us doing all these creative wacky positive things and i'm very very thankful for all of you who have joined me and helped me to the quest for positivity there's a lot to be thankful for actually you know gratefulness is the number one way you can change your attitude. Literally everyone from the ancient Greek philosophers all the way down through history to every modern self-help chicken soup for the soul, book in the cash register aisle thing at Kinko's, they all have one universal truth in them, which is that gratefulness, finding things to be grateful for, even in the darkest of times, is the best way to retrain your mind to think positive. There's always a silver lining. There's always something to be grateful for. Even when you can't find anything to be grateful for, you can be grateful that suffering and hard times produces character and that they can't last forever. So, always something to be grateful for. Very, very poignant fact on this Thanksgiving. I'm not 100% sure that Thanksgiving is everyone's favorite holiday, particularly many indigenous Americans. But we can use the opportunity for this Abraham Lincoln created holiday to stop, maybe if we haven't been on the quest for positivity, stop in the name of love and start thinking of things to be grateful for. I'll share something with you that's actually quasi-religious, even though, even though at the fast time four, we understand the simple rule that my grandmother taught me years and years and years, my great-grandmother taught me years and years ago, which is sex, politics, and religion do not belong at the dinner table. They also probably don't belong in a sometimes vlog. So this is not a religious statement, but it's just a, a it, ha, it, it has something to do with it. So I was at a Russian Orthodox monastery years ago with a friend of mine who was having a hard time. He needed to go up and visit the peace and tranquility of a monastery in Northern California. Russian Orthodox monks, technically Serbian, Serbian Orthodox Christian monks up there. And uh, we were talking to the abbot of the monastery who had been there since the 1970s. Look at this, I can't get over this. Hold on a second, let's pause. He had been there since the 1970s up on this mountain and I was just quietly absorbing all the things that he had to say about peace and harmony and living up here in the mountains and all this different stuff and all his reflection and prayers and all the things. And my friend asked him a question about something about how he just never felt right. He never felt positive all the time and sometimes he got discouraged and that he didn't think that God would want him to be discouraged. And the monk, the abbot of the monastery said something I thought was very interesting, which he said, these are his words, he said, Christianity isn't about a feeling. It's about standing in front of your creator, no matter what the circumstances, with a grateful heart. That stuck with me for years and years and years and years. And maybe you're not religious at all. Maybe you have a completely different religion. That's totally okay. Absolutely no judgment and nothing but love from me. But I thought the principle of the thing that life isn't about how you feel all the time, but it's about taking whatever circumstances you're in and trying to stand humbly in front of God or the universe or yourself with a grateful heart. Thinking of all the things you can be grateful for. I like it, I like it. It makes me positive in a weird, strange, I can't explain it way. That always made me positive. So they're sharing a little bit of a personal story with you all from this experience I had on the mountaintops one time. So anyway, here at Disneyland, taking a wander on Thanksgiving. I'm about to go to Thanksgiving dinner. My phone has been acting weird, so if it cuts off the vlog early, I apologize. Make sure you subscribe for some more future sometimes vlogs. I haven't been around a lot lately. The reason why I haven't been around a lot lately is because I've been in a horrible, bad mood. I kept getting these weird fevers. I went to the hospital last week. Could not figure out what the heck was going on. They were saying it was sinus infection. Yeah, I had all this weird headache stuff. Well, it turns out it was more of a dentistry problem. So I went to the dentist. I have a horrible, huge, painful abscess under an old crown. 
And so I have some antibiotics and medication for that. So that should be getting a lot better. But that put me down. Well, that put me down like all week. I had a bunch of stuff to work on and catch up on. We got the new random land post at DCA Christmas Wonders. But uh, yeah, that put me down for a while. I was feeling pretty negative. I was thinking, I'm not in a bad mood. There's no real reason for me to be in a bad mood compared to all the reasons I had to be in a good mood. But yeah, it turns out there was a horrible, painful infection in my jaw, down my neck, in my nerves, up into my head brain area. And uh, yeah, it explained a lot of things. So that is being taken care of. I'm feeling a heck of a lot better after a day and a half or so of antibiotics. Amoxicillin will work wonders for you if you let it. Anyway, very thankful. A lot of bad stuff happened this year. But that is okay because I realized that standing on the other side, well, mostly on the other side of a lot of bad stuff happening to me during this fine year of 2014, that a lot of it is really for the best. You Sometimes you gotta get a little distance and a little perspective before you realize that some of the bad things aren't so bad after all in the long run. Look at this. I'm thankful for this. No longer in dry dock, no longer being repainted. The Mark Twain River. Look at that. Sunset over the rivers of America. And look at that. What a happy bunch. Yeah, it's really not crowded here. The lines aren't that bad. There's really not that many people. I've been here on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is a little bit of a kerfuffle. You have to stand in line to walk through the walkways. It is very, very crowded here. So it's pretty cool. This is the first time I've ever been to Disneyland on Thanksgiving Day. It's looking pretty wonderful. Maybe next year I'll come here and have popcorn for Thanksgiving dinner. Right now i got to save room for some gluten-free turkey and mashed potatoes. I'm actually kind of late to Thanksgiving dinner, but hey, it's for a good cause because you and I, we need to spend a little moment together. I have been painting again. We've actually been working on a lot of projects, writing some scripts for some secret projects. Tyler Evans, Jeff Einbuck have been cranking out some scripts. I just did a story treatment for a short film we're hoping to work on with our cohorts, compadres, and partners at Utmost Studios. They have an Instagram, Utmost underscore studios on Instagram. Check them out. Go follow them on there. They haven't posted too much. I don't think they see the, the purpose of it yet. They'll catch on. They'll catch on. Anyway, look at that. Yeah, so we've been working on all kinds of projects for 2015, which is why sometimes vlog has sort of suffered a little bit because I was trying to edit randomly. At the same time, we're trying to take all these meetings, go to the Combat Radio Christmas fundraiser, having a horrible access, which is getting better, and doing all kinds of stuff. So we've been really busy and crazy. Definitely thankful for your patience and thankful for your patronage, your wonderful donations. We are saving up to go. Ah, whoo, I made it just inside of the tape. Saving up to go to Tombstone, Arizona. Did I just let the cat out of the bag? I've hinted strongly at that before. Tombstone, Arizona, go do some random land filming, hopefully just after or just before Christmas, one way or the other. It'd be kind of weird to film Tombstone with a bunch of Christmas decorations around. I wonder what Tombstone looks like at Christmas. The town too tough to Christmas. <laughs> Anyway, I have no idea what I'm talking Clearly, I'm losing my mind. I was actually up all night last night finishing that new random land, and then uh, the, the pain kind of came back. I was thinking, I don't want to take a bunch of medicine right before I pass out. I'll fall asleep, I'll fall asleep. I did not fall asleep for a long, long time. Got up, figured, I'm awake, might as well go to Disneyland all day. Got up, took some ibuprofen, as soon as that settled in, I felt very sleepy and fell asleep for most of the day, so. Plenty of work to catch up on, plenty of projects and things going on, so make sure to go to their website, livefastdiepoor.com, we have all kinds of articles, new artwork, crazy things coming up in that space, facebook.com slash livefastdiepoor, of course, live back, back, back. I can't talk, Instagram, livefastdiepoor, and my Instagram, which is Justin Scarred, all one word, no spaces, look at that. That's about it. That's all I can. That's all I can think of to catch you guys up on. We've just been really, really busy working on a bunch of stuff. It's funny because sometimes you don't see the end result. The sometimes vlog is cool because you come out a film. Usually it's completely unedited, and we get uploaded the same day, and it's bam, instant gratification. But a lot of these projects we're working on now will take a little bit of time, effort, and most of all, what my personal guru and hero Yoda will call patience. So I had to have a little. Yoda-esque patience and prepare for all kinds of cool projects coming up. So a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work. It's weird to think that I'm penniless, but I own a company. Tyler and I always make that joke where we uh, work on all this stuff, which we do not get paid for. And then we point at each other and say, Titans of industry. 
Anyway, the Live Fast Life Four, very thankful for all of you who have supported and appreciated that we're trying to cover things that we think are positive, combat a little bit of the cynicism in the world. So Thanksgiving is a perfect day to say hello and say thank you to all of you wonderful people who have made 2014, despite a lot of weird personal circumstances, maybe one of the best years of my life. So thank you and enjoy your turkey or your tofurkey or maybe your ham. Can I just say something? Can I say something a little negative? This is not super positive of me. I realize that because there's probably a lot of ham lovers out there. In my opinion, as a meat eater, Thanksgiving Day is a day for turkey. I was always super disappointed, especially as a child, when we would go to someone's house. We're getting ready for dinner, I'm so hungry. Mom didn't let me eat all day long, I'm so hungry. And finally, Thanksgiving dinner is coming, and it's a ham. Oh, come on, there's nothing wrong with ham. Don't get me wrong, a delicious, succulent ham. Hey, whatever floats your boat, but no turkey. Very, very disappointing. Speaking of disappointing Thanksgiving, so I'll share another story with you. It's not necessarily 100% positive, but it's, it's kind of funny. Uh, and speaking of Texas, it's actually not San Antonio, Texas. We were down in Alice, Texas, so Google that. My friend Ben 9K, who you've met on the Sometimes Vlog, my old bass player monkey, and I went on this crazy, awful tour. It was freezing, there's a huge blizzard, a bunch of shows kept getting canceled in 2007, so we spent Thanksgiving 2007 down in Alice, Texas, and I was very excited because I had some friends down there uh, who are very, very Mexican, and I was really excited. We were all pumped up. We're gonna have Mexican Thanksgiving. We're going to their house. We're gonna have Mexican Thanksgiving. And it was super funny because his mom knew that we were coming and thought, oh, I feel so bad for those boys because they're out on tour, out on the road. I hear their tour isn't going very badly. So she cooked us like a turkey and stuffing and tried to do like the the uh, the gringo Thanksgiving, her words, not ours. Hey, that's our word, gringo. <laughs> so she gave us the gringo Thanksgiving. Kind of a bummer. We were really appreciative and happy, and Joel, boy, did we need the food, but we were bummed out. We never had Mexican Thanksgiving. So someday, I plan, maybe next year, I plan on making up for non-Mexican Thanksgiving by having giant Mexican Thanksgiving. Now it'll have to be gluten-free. But that's okay. So maybe next year we'll have some kind of potluck Thanksgiving. What do you think about that idea? Potluck, lit fast, die pour, everyone's invited. Mexican Thanksgiving. We'll find a public park. I don't know, it sounds like a pretty good idea, although I'll probably forget by then because that is the nature of my forgetfulness. Look at this pokey bush. There's some, ouch. I was not expecting that. Well, this must be the entrance to the briar patch. Okay, I've taken up enough of your turkey loving time, I am going to go grub and get some of that tryptophan in my bloodstream and get sleepy. I might come back to visit that actually tonight. Pop up a few Instagrams, hang out for a while. We'll see. We'll see if it gets more crowded after dinner or if people are planning on coming after dinner and then are going to get too full and hungry. Not hungry. Too full and sleepy. Sleepy. Come back. Eat away. Now, friends, you watched the Sometimes Vlog. I have vlogged the Sometimes Vlog. We visited Disneyland and looked at the wonderful glory of Splash Mountain at dusk. We have looked and gazed at Tom Sawyer's Island upon this wonderful Squanto day. Remember Squanto? Look up Squanto, to Squantum. He's the man responsible for the success of the Pilgrims, if for anyone. That's as though it deserves a little credit, though. Anyway. We've done our duty. Now it's time to go home and eat turkey, get the tryptophan, and then sleep well. Wow. Thank you all so much. I love you. I appreciate all the love, kindness, support, and positivity. May your days be merry and bright. Well, that's not, we can't start celebrating that until tomorrow, but we will celebrate all kinds of Christmas. Hello. Happy Thanksgiving. All kinds of Christmas glory. But anyway, I hope you have a wonderful, truly wonderful Thanksgiving. If it's not going well, remember, try your best to think of things that you are grateful for. It may not turn you around today, but I promise you that it works. And it will start to turn things around. You just retrain your brain. Gratefulness. Gratefulness is step one in the five point plan for positivity, which I will elaborate on later. Step two, question mark. Step three, profit. Step four, question mark. Step five, question mark. Positivity. Step one, gratefulness. Okay. Love y'all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.